Hello everyone, it's Living Online here for Server Pro, and today I'll be showing you how to download the Death Note data pack on your server. When you enter your server, you'll know the data pack is enabled if you see something saying you've made the Death Note data pack advancement. To get your Death Note, however, you need to throw together a couple items on the ground. Those items are one book and quill, four wither skeleton heads, five diamond blocks, one nether star, and eleven netherite ingots. Once you've acquired the death note, you can right click it to see how to actually use it. All you have to do is type in the mob type or player name on the second page like so, and when you're done on the third page, type in the cause of death you want them to have. If you're not sure what to type here, you can check the official download page as there's a list of the death types you can pick from. For example, I wrote down the was hung to death death type and this is what happens. That isn't all this data pack adds though, you can also summon light in game using this command. If you attack him, he will attack back and he might even use his death note to kill you, so you better be prepared. Prepared. Another character you can summon is Ryuk, but only if the death note is in your hand. You can do so using this command. In chat, he'll warn you if there's hostile mobs nearby, and if you hit him, he'll drop a piece of paper where you can write down orders. On the download page, you can see the list of orders. If I type, I want Shinigami eyes on the piece of paper and press yes in chat, it'll give me what I asked for. So far, those are all the features this data pack has to offer. However, the creator states they'll be working on improving the data pack in the future. Firstly, you can use the link in the description to get to the official download page. When you're there, simply scroll down until you see the Death Note data pack button. When you click that button, it'll redirect you to a page that looks like this. Simply scroll down until you see a button saying download data pack and click it. Then, press visit site when this notice pops up. That'll redirect you to an ad page where you just have to wait a couple seconds before pressing skip. Once you've done that, you can now download the data pack on Mediafire by clicking the download button. That will instantly begin the download. Afterwards, you should go back to the page open before, and there you'll see a download resource pack button. Simply click that, press visit site and wait once more to press the skip button. Lastly, you just want to press the download button to install the resource pack as well. Once the resource pack zip is downloaded, we recommend you move both zips to a place where you can easily access, for example, your desktop. For this step, you're going to have to go to the server.pro website and access your server control panel from there. At the dashboard, make sure that the server version matches the data pack version to ensure no complications. In this case, the server version should be set to 1.18.2. Before proceeding to the next step, quickly confirm that the server is offline. Firstly, I'll be showing you how to upload the data pack onto a world you've already created. This data pack doesn't require you to make a new world, but if you're interested in that, I'll be showing you how to create a brand new world with the data pack enabled after. Firstly, what you're going to do is head to the files tab. Click on the world folder and then the data packs folder. Here's where you're going to drag the data pack zip you downloaded at the beginning of the video. And that's it, the data pack is uploaded onto your world. However, if you're interested in creating a brand new world with the data pack enabled, you're going to want to head to the worlds tab. Here's where you're going to create a brand new world. You can set your world name and adjust world settings as usual, just make sure the world name doesn't have spaces or special characters. However, below you'll also see a button labeled upload data packs. Simply click the select files button and then navigate to the area you save the data pack zip to. Once you've found it, press open and then create world. It'll take a second for the files to upload, but when that's done, you should go into the files tab. Double click on your world folder and then go into the data packs folder. If you see the data packs zip inside, it means you follow these steps correctly. Now that the data pack is uploaded onto the server, we have to make sure the resource pack is also installed. To do that, you'll want to head back to the files tab. Then open up the server.properties file and look for the line saying resource pack. After the equals, you want to right click and paste the link to the required resource pack. We ourselves have uploaded that file to our Dropbox, so if you'd like you can use our link, it'll be in the description. Alternatively though, you can upload the resource pack to any website that supports creations of hotlinks and put your own hotlink into the server.properties file. Before continuing, make sure to press save file to confirm the changes and then all you have to do is log into your server to experience the new additions. You can do this by restarting your server. After it's booted up, head to the dashboard and copy the host name. Afterwards, quickly launch your Minecraft application and when it's open, head to the multiplayer section. Click add server and in the server address section, paste the host name. When you join the server, you'll be prompted with this pop-up asking if you want to download and install the required texture pack. We recommend pressing yes, so every time you join the server in the future, it'll be automatically enabled. Well, that's it for this video. If you have any more questions, make sure to leave them down below. And if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to see more from our channel. Thank you for watching.